This is the Fox Green sector of Omaha Beach. Just after low tide, we've got about 250 yards of sand here. And this is where elements of the first division landed on D-Day. These teenage kids, and a lot of them are 18, 19 years old, they've, they've already spent at least two or three hours bobbing up and down in landing craft, puking their guts up. The ramps crash down out there on the sandbars. They run forward into troughs of water that plummet down between the sandbars. They're soaking wet, carrying 80 pounds of gear, some of them. Then they've got to hit this beach. When they get to about here, the midpoint of the beach, that's when the machine guns open up. If they manage to get through that, there's another 100, 200 yards possibly to get towards the shingle wall ahead of us. This is the area where the beach changes from the sand to the shingle. This is the European use of the word shingle, which is very different to the American use of the word. This is a big bank of pebbles, smoothly washed pebbles that gets washed up every day. And it can be eight foot, 10 foot high. They thought it represented an area of safety because there from the beach, this looked maybe attractive. But in fact, when you get there, it's, it's just the beginning of another phase of problems. If you were here, you'd maybe hunk yourself down and you think you're safe, but you know, bullets hitting this stuff there uh, it was just pretty deadly, really. Well, a mortar shell coming in that's filled with high explosives, if that hits something like that, the shock wave could be 20, 30, 40 feet. And then bits of metal and stones are just showering out in every direction. So one mortar could hit and wound, you know, maybe dozens of guys. Then from there, you've got another 100 yards of often mines and barbed wire to get anywhere near the bluffs. It's a, a journey of something like 600 yards you've got to make that morning. It's just a vast, vast area to go, and people don't realize how big the beach is. They perceive it, perhaps from movies or video games, and they get here and realize it's a massive, great expanse of sand.